Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. If you like these types of problems and haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and just smash that subscribe button. You can expect two new challenge problems a week from me. All right, let's get started. So for this problem, it gives us the longest length of the triangle as 19 centimeters. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, since this is an elementary school problem, we cannot use Pythagorean theorem. So let's get away from thinking a squared b squared equals c squared and think about it from an elementary student standpoint. Okay, so the longest length is 19 centimeters here. And we know that the total length is equal to 45 centimeters. If that's the case, we can subtract the 19 from the 45, and that would tell us the total length of these two sides right here. I'm just going to draw a 90 degree angle right here. So if we take the 45, and subtract the 19 from it, that is going to be equal to 26. So these two sides added together is going to equal a total of 26 centimeters. Now, if you notice, I just kind of carved out this triangle from the left hand corner of the diagram. So let's translate that. So these two sides are going to equal 26. And we know that the longest side is equal to 19. Hmm. How does knowing the corner of the sides help us in this case? Let's take a closer look. Because all eight triangles are the same, if you look at the entire diagram, if these two sides right here are 26, that means then that this long side and this short part of the other triangle also has to equal 26. Ooh, pretty cool, huh? So now we know the sides of the big triangle, big uh, square, excuse me, which is 26, and the side of the smaller square, which is equal to 19 centimeters. Can you think about how we can solve it from here? I'm gonna give you five seconds. Here's the countdown. Pause the video if you wanna think about it on your own, and let's dive right into the solution. Alrighty guys, let's get right into it right here. So I think what would be the easiest way to think about it is if we can take the area of the outer square and subtract it from the eight triangles right here, that's an easy way to find the area of the square. But do we really know how to find the area of one of the triangles? Hmm. I think it's a little hard based on the information that we have. So let's focus our attention on the smaller square first. So we know that the smaller square, the area is equal to 19 times 19. And if we can somehow subtract the four triangles from it, we can find the area of the square. So I'm going to write that down in equa as an equation right here. So 19 times 19 minus the right triangle, and there's four of them, so I'm going to write times four would give us the area of the square. Now, 
Is there a way to find the area of four of the triangles? Let's focus our attention on the outer square now. So the outer square is equal to 26 right here. Now, if we find the area of the outer square, and if we can subtract that from the inside square right here, so I'm just gonna kinda cross it off for now. That'll give us the four triangles that we're looking for, which we need from our first equation. So if we can take the area of the outer, outer square, which is 26 times 26, and subtract it from the inner square, that'll give us the area of the four rect four triangles, excuse me, that we need. So once we do the calculations, that should come out to an area of 315 square centimeters. So that's the area of the four triangles right here. Now we can use this information and substitute that back into our original equation. So if we do that, we have 19 times 19 minus 315. And if we do our multiplication and subtraction correctly, we should get an area of 46 square centimeters. So the paradigm square, it's a little bit funky of a number, is equal to 46 square centimeters. Wow, what did you guys think of the problem? Wasn't it pretty rad? Please comment below. And if you thought it was pretty rad, go ahead and just smash that subscribe button for a smash and like smash, whatever that means. Uh, stick around for the joke of the day. And the next challenge is going to be on balancing weights. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I'll see you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.